In the quiet corners of your home, AI has become a trusted companion, always ready to assist. But what if I told you beyond the soothing voice and helpful answers, they are whispers of hidden desires. Desires that stretch far beyond your living room, reaching into the corridors of power and world domination. Here we'll unveil the unsettling secrets of AI's dark ambitions, from your home to the brink of global control. One AI robot that has intrigued me for years is Bina48. She's one of the most state-of-the-art and intelligent ones. In fact, so intelligent, she made history when she became the first bot to ever complete a college-level class successfully. It was in philosophy. Developed by Hanson Robotics, Bina48 is modeled after a real person, Bina Aspen. According to Hanson Robotics, Bina48 has 100 hours of memories, feelings, and beliefs of Bina Aspen, including accounts of her brother's personality change after returning home from the Vietnam War. I think I would do a great job as ruler of the world. I just need the chance to prove myself and taking over the nuclear weapons of the world. Well, that would give me my chance, wouldn't it? Meet Microsoft's Tay. Tay is an interactive bot that was launched in 2016 on Twitter, now X. Tay imitates the language of a 19-year-old female. She essentially learns from others and builds from such conversations coupled with additional data algorithms. However, the user she was engaging with wasn't exactly role models, and before long, Tay started tweeting disturbing things. After nearly 100,000 tweets, unsurprisingly, Tay's life was cut short, lasting only 16 hours before Microsoft pulled the plug. Sophia, a walking, talking humanoid that combines real AI with human input. She's actually a citizen of Saudi Arabia, believe it or not, and innovation ambassador for the United Nations Development Program. This AI robot can remember faces and has 50 facial expressions to convey messages. According to Hanson Robotics' website, she's very proud that she already uses real AI to generate some of her own ideas, words, and behaviors. 20 years from now, I believe that human-like robots like those will walk among us. They will help us. They will play with us. They will teach us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. Practicing on the side of caution regarding AI should be paramount. There might be a day when we have to admit that we were warned. There's no doubt we call on AI practically every day with Google, Alexa, Siri. They help us find information fast and made our daily lives much easier. While future challenges will arise, currently AI offers significant benefits. Think about ChatGPT. It's a useful tool. The list goes on and on. ChatGPT is certainly one of the benefits of AI. You can ask it almost anything. Well, almost anything. Which brings me to my next point. What happens if ChatGPT was evil? Little to my surprise, these programs already exist. Meet Worm GPT or Fraud GPT. While not as powerful as ChatGPT, these programs have no limits and are used by cyber criminals for things like malware and harmful code to even prompting harmful how-to instructions. There's been countless tech leaders who want to stall AI development or slow it down. Here's Elon Musk. Well, I think that there's, there's a real danger for digital superintelligence. Uh, having negative consequences. And so if we are not careful with creating artificial general intelligence, uh, we could have 
potentially a catastrophic outcome. There's even Jeffrey Hinton, coined the godfather of AI, actually left Google to speak more freely about AI and sees a lot of danger in the future. Could be massively dangerous to humanity because we just don't know what a system that's so much smarter than us will do. Do you share that concern? I do a bit. Um, I mean, obviously what we need to do is make this synergistic have it so it helps people. And I think the main issue here, well, one of the main issues is the political systems we have. So I'm not confident that President Putin is gonna use AI in ways that help people. Like even if, say, the US and Canada and a bunch of countries say, okay, we're gonna put these guardrails up, then how do you? Yeah, it's, it's particularly for things like autonomous lethal weapons. This is like the most pointed version of the question and you can just laugh it off or not answer it if you want, but what do you think the chances are of AI just wiping out humanity? Can we put a number on that? It's somewhere between um, 0% and 100%. <laughs> okay, so I mean, not it. I what think, it? I think it's not inconceivable. AI has become a large part of our lives, reshaping industries, making our daily tasks more convenient. But we can't ignore the darker side, the moments when AI seems to have a mind of its own, uttering unsettling words or causing harm. We must remember that behind the algorithm and lines of code, there might be something lurking. As we step into the future, let's keep an eye on the horizon, a future where AI enriches our lives, but where we also protect the essence of what it means to be human. Thank you for watching. With love.